Okay, so this is the Multics uh, Quick Start Guide, right? Um, and once again, Multics is this take on a categorical machine or a cat machine. Um, say Multics is really the reference implementation of a cat machine. Uh, so it's a cat machine. Well, I tried to cover that in the previous video. Uh, if you didn't get all that, don't worry. Um, anyways, let's, let's just cover how to actually use this thing. Um, so basically, the, the idea is that you have a command and you send it to Multics and Multics sends back a response. Okay, simple enough, right? Um, now this command is just text, okay? Uh, it's a string, it's the same as how operating systems work, a database, you know, SQL works. Um, but you know, it's just any interactive REPL kind of. Um, so if you wanted to call Multics from your code, you just send a string and uh, hopefully you get a result back, okay? And we've got an NPM client for this sort of thing. Um, okay, so let's uh, go a little bit deeper into this. Uh, again, you start with this uh, command, which gets sent to Multics, right? So there's this API, this command portal, uh, and that in turn is probably going to hand stuff off to a worker, uh, you know, or two or three, right? And, and then they'll go off and they'll go do stuff, and then hopefully you get some results back. They get gathered up and, and, and sent back. So, so, um, so for example, uh, let's say you call foo, uh, okay. Uh, it gets put on a worker and then maybe you pass the results to bar. Um, could be on a different machine, okay. Just be aware, anytime you use the arrow operator, there's an opportunity to hop hardware. Um, now there's processor affinity, you know, uh, but uh, the, the opportunity's there, right. Um, so let's talk about these workers. Okay, well, you know, it's just Node, okay? Nothing too magical going on here. Um, oh my gosh, so, so why is it Node of all things? Well, there's this fateful quote by Douglas Crockford. You know, he said, um, you know, JavaScript is a functional language in the same way that Lisp and Scheme are functional languages. Uh, you know, and I, I mean, you know, alarm bells should be going off, right? Because that sounds suspiciously categorical. Um, puts us right back into category theory, you know, horror of horrors, right? You know, uh, I mean, resistance is futile, okay? Um, you know, but the nice thing about Node, of, of course, is that it's not really exotic like some of these uh, uh, functional languages. Um, it can run anywhere. You know, Node is the new JVM. Uh, the engine obviously runs in the browser, but you can run on the server, laptop, your phone, at least on Android. Uh, anywhere you can run Node. I mean, a Raspberry Pi, a drone even. Um, so, okay, so, so when you run a command, okay, the output can be sent uh, to a terminal. Uh, and you can have more than one terminal, okay? You, you can put logs in one and results in another. Uh, how do you do that? Uh, uh, well, I'll show you here shortly. You basically use uh, some environment variables and you can name your terminals. You just basically add some stuff to the URL. Um, and of course, you can run commands directly from a terminal, kind of like old school, right? Um, but um, perhaps the more modern way is uh, we've got a uh, inside Visual Studio code, uh, we've got an extension, and you can put commands uh, right in uh, your comments, right in your code, okay? Uh, and then you can just run them straight from uh, uh, some hotkeys, just use the arrow keys, okay? Um, but the main thing is, I hope, is I get you interested enough, uh, you know, you get signed up, right? Um, so there's this account portal, um, you know, portal.multics.catatonic.ai. And um, yeah, we've got a whole retro Miami vibe going on here, right? Uh, I mean, and the point is, uh, this is not Silicon Valley and definitely not West Coast kind of stuff. Um, okay, so yeah, crypto crashed again, whatever. I mean, we've seen that before. Um, but uh, when you do sign up, uh, your account will be tied to a crypto address, okay? Um, and we're going to run the books basically that way. And, 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 and I mean, they're free accounts, right? You don't have to spend any money here you know, right now. But um, now why would we do that? Um, basically, Stony is kind of built around these idea of uh, digital services, right? Uh, because the underlying assumption is that we could be invaded at any minute. You know, it's a tiny country. Um, of course, six months ago, that sounded ludicrous, um, right? But but here we are, okay? Um, but really, uh, you know, if, if you're already into crypto, I don't have to 
convince you of uh, new technologies. Uh, you already embrace them. Um, I don't have to convince you of the threat of big tech, uh, you know. And so, and, and you know, so I, I mean, I grew up in Florida myself. Uh, that, that's kind of the sort of crowd I kind of want to run with, um, you know. And hopefully, this cat stuff can inspire someone. Um, we do have a uh, now. We do have a sandbox, you know, called the cat box. I mean, naturally, what else would it be called, right? Uh, you don't have to install the Visual Studio extension if you just want to play around real quickly. Um, and I'll show you how that works here. Okay, so right, so enough of these slides. Let's get into this. Right, okay. 